like they just set the bar so low like they're not even gonna say like cute fashions or like styling whatever they're just like wearable like it's wearable it's not cute but it's wearable hey peeps what's up welcome back to my youtube channel so today I'm in the car with my husband, which means we're on our way to the Goodwill outlet. It's bright and early, which is why we look like rough zombies. But I'm really excited. We haven't gone in like at least a month. It's been a really long time since we've gone. So I'm very excited. There's a couple things we're looking for today. Um, I have another reseller market coming up. So like a little flea market. And if you're in Utah, you can attend that. I'll leave the details in the description box. So I need some inventory to sell at my market. I also am running low in my Etsy shop. I haven't listed a lot of new things lately. So that's what we'll be doing. We'll be looking for those two things. And then if I find anything cool for me, I will get that as well. I'm looking forward to fall and um, Halloween. So if there's anything like spooky or fallish, I'm looking out for that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the intro. We're just on our way. I will see you guys there. If you're new here, make sure you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed already, I post new videos every Sunday and every Thursday, and they're always vintage and thrift related. So if you're into either of those topics, uh, definitely subscribe. If you're into the Goodwill outlet, if you're curious about it, definitely subscribe. I've got lots of videos of hauls I've done, of thrift with me's I've done at the outlet that you can check out. But yeah, let's just uh, head to the Goodwill outlet and I will see you guys there. Bye. Hello, so I've been here about an hour. Um, I hadn't had any time to film because I've just been going like crazy and my cart is so full. So I don't think I'll be able to show you everything as of right now, just cause it's like so full and I don't want to dig everything out. But let me show you the highlights. First thing my husband found this book for himself. He's a huge all out video game lover. So he's very, very excited about this. So I'm happy for him. It means nothing to me, but good for him. Then I found this super cute Ralph Warren, probably a uh, robe. But I'm gonna wear it as like a kimono kind of overlay. It's got this awesome western print. I have one similar to this. So this is a Ralph Lauren. I hope it fits because look at that pattern. That's so cool. Super cute vintage San Francisco sweatshirt. I love these kind that are like the half zip kind of almost like a windbreaker type. So that's for cute. Probably like 90s. A really pretty thick 80s dress. So this one will be really good for winter and fall. Probably not for me, probably for my shop, but super cute. Then this is probably my favorite thing I found so far. I love sweaters like this and this one's in perfect condition. Look at how cute. Isn't that so cute? It has this really pretty puff paint floral pattern on it. And then the best part, it has a little collar. So getting this one for sure, I love it so freaking much. I found these cool Tommy Hilfiger jeans. They're like almost like a cargo pant. I think they might fit me. Another, okay, I'm just kind of going through the full cart. I said I wouldn't, but I'm going to. This is a vintage Washington DC sweatshirt. It's like a kid size, but it's a pretty big size. So I think it would fit a small adult. Okay, I'm just gonna show you two more things and then I'm gonna keep searching because I feel like I'm gonna miss out and I think they're gonna switch the bins soon. This is also very dirty and stained, but I'm like a thousand percent confident I can get the stains out of this one. And it's this button up skirt. Nothing screams vintage like a button up skirt. So I'm getting that for sure way too small for me, but I'll put it on my shop because I think these are timeless. Perfect for any season. It's that good mini length. It has pockets and buttons up. So I think they're changing the bins now though. So I'm gonna go. Just chilling here, waiting for them to bring out the bins. I have a good feeling about this. Hopefully I can find some more sweaters. Jamma set. Uh, no, it's like a top and skirt. That's kind of cute. I don't know if I'm gonna get this for sure, but it's like a little tank top and matching skirt. It's pretty cottage core. Um, obviously, we're coming up on fall, but somewhere, somewhere warm like California could definitely wear this. Just look at that beautiful cottage core set. So I think I'm throwing that in. I originally thought it was gonna be pajamas, but it's like a cute little set. So going in the cart, I guess. Okay, so this second, like, bin switch was super successful i found a bin full of dresses i found like three or four vintage dresses which i'm very happy with because they can be super hit and miss here i either find like a ton or i find like one or none so i found a lot so let's go through it first one is this black and white 80s polka dot not doing a good job of showing it it's got some corseting in the back so it cinches in the waist which is always super cute 
so getting that one then this one some of these i haven't even fully looked at so you're going through my cart with me and we're like picking through and deciding what we want to get and what we don't this dress it has a matching belt this is also i'm gonna say cottage core a million times i feel like but a pretty cottage core floral and it has a matching belt so that one's really cute this is gonna be such a big haul at the end this shirt i was considering it's super like weird texture so i feel like it wouldn't be comfortable but how cute would this be for like halloween time it's black with all these rainbow glitters so i'll probably end up throwing it back i was hoping this was either going to be a dress or a skirt but it's just vintage slacks i'm not going to get these i don't really like selling or buying pants for myself this is another thing i'm probably going to throw back it's a top i'm sure it has a matching bottom like for a set it's from the 80s it's got shoulder pads so maybe if i can find the skirt um if i can go back and find the skirt maybe i'll get it but if not i'm gonna leave it because it's just like a random gold shoulder top then i found a bunch of cute denim dresses i love vintage denim dresses because i don't know i just feel like they're a good staple this one is super cute these are the best are the ones without sleeves because you can wear them at them in the summer because they're super breezy but you can also layer a tank top underneath which is super or not a tank top a turtleneck underneath which is so cute i'm getting this one it's even got pockets this one's also cottage core vibes sorry take a shot of water every time i say cottage core of course this cottage core set i already showed you super cute this was another denim dress this one has long sleeves and buttons all the way up it might have some paint stains, so I'm gonna have to look at it and decide, but I think it's good. It also has pockets. Found this Rolling Stones t-shirt for my husband, not vintage. It's from 2009, but it's really cool. So we're gonna get that for him. Another dress, I haven't fully looked at this one, but it looks really cute. So it's like an 80s dress with that kind of pocket. It also has a belt that is like a really cool belt. Again, doing a horrible job of showing it, but you get the idea. It's like a nautical kind of dress. Found this blanket, I haven't looked at it yet. Christmassy tapestry blanket. I think I'm gonna throw this one back. I mostly got it just to cover my cart because if you don't cover your cart, sometimes people steal. So, um, this, oh my gosh, this sweatshirt. Again, cottage core, so many cottage core things today. How freaking cute is that? It's got this patchwork. I don't know, you get the vibes. Very cottage core love that and then yeah just a bunch of other stuff like there's so much in my cart now i'm just gonna have to go through it on my own well let me show you a few more things actually this rei jacket it's really cool um it's a kids though so i might leave it here i'm gonna have to do some more digging on it this is kind of like a cottage core skirt i love the print on it but it was handmade and i have nothing against handmade but this one's like very very badly handmade so i'll probably put it back but just thought i'd show you because that's so cute i don't know i'll have to take another look at it so we're gonna head out now um i'm gonna go through my cart one more time because it's so full this is what the cart looks like right now full in the basket full in the main basket so i need to go through all of this but i think i'm honestly gonna get most of it it's been a really successful day so we're walking with a big old cart full 25 pounds of stuff. I'm very excited about everything we got. Got a couple of books too. That's what we're gonna do now, just load all these goodies. There's so many things I didn't show you. So I'm very excited to get home and wash it all and show you like this t-shirt for my nephew who loves dinosaurs. Very excited. So it's all going in the trunk. Thanks babe, did you have fun? He actually found some really good stuff, so. All right, peeps, I am back home now. I have the biggest pile of all my thrifted finds in front of me, so we're gonna try to get through this really quick. But of course I gotta acknowledge the elephant in the room, which is I'm filming in my new filming room. I'm very excited, first time filming in here, like an official video. I feel like it's so much cozier. So yeah, I just wanted to point that out because I'm super happy. And if you're confused, like what is this? Why are you in here? Be sure to check out my last video. I transformed the spared bedroom I had into a filming room. So I'll actually leave that video linked below if you wanna see how I put all this together and yeah we're just gonna get into it normally I do it in like a specific order where I show you what I got for myself first and then I show you what I got for my shop but it's all just in one big pile and it's in no particular order so that's what we're gonna do today it's just gonna be in a random order but one thing I did want to say is originally I was thinking I would get some things for my shop and then some things for my flea market but my shop is so empty right now compared to what it normally is but for now it's all gonna be listed on Etsy so anything I show you in today's 
today's video is available now in my Etsy shop. It's listed. So if you are interested in purchasing it, it's there. If not, no worries. I don't want anyone to ever feel pressured like they need to buy something. But yeah, we're just going to get right into it. Starting off with a find that I'm really happy about and wasn't expecting to be this happy about. So first up here, we have these Tommy Hilfiger jeans. I don't know anything about jeans or denim like vintage wise so I really can't tell you if these are modern or vintage and honestly I don't care but these are really cute regardless and they're really long like the legs are really really long so I don't know they were made for someone tall whoever they were made for but these are actually really cool I wasn't too confident that they would fit but they are the perfect fit I'm talking like sisterhood of the traveling pants I don't think the try on does them justice they're a lot cuter I think in person than they were in the try on because it was hard to show like the full body but they're super long on me oh, they just look super cool they have this piece here with the Tommy Hilfiger logo what are these for? Are these for chains? Are these for like keys? Let me know down below what they're for. Of course, they have the big Tommy Hilfiger logo on the back. And yeah, these are just awesome. I'd love to keep them long because I think it's a cool style, but I think they're too long that they would drag. So probably we'll have to have my grandma hem these. So that's super exciting. Next is the vintage white button up skirt that I got. This one is available now in my Etsy shop. And this one actually turned out so perfectly. All the stains on this one ended up coming out. I should have gotten a before picture. I always regret not getting a before picture because it's so satisfying to see the before and after. But all the stains came out. It's like a bright white now. And yeah, it's just a classic retro vintage button up skirt. Buttons up the front, perfect white. It's like that perfect midi length A-line cut, if you know what I mean. Next is something I didn't show you before. This is a Lilo and Stitch crop hoodie. I got this for my sister-in-law. I don't know if she'll like it or not. I know she likes Lilo, Lilo and Stitch. I don't know if this is her style. If she hates it, that's totally fine. But I saw it and I thought of her because I know she really loves Lilo and Stitch. And it is a really cute hoodie. Like even if you didn't like Lilo and Stitch. Next is this polka dot dress. I kind of had hopes that it would fit me, but it was just too small. So this one's in my Etsy shop as well. Again, just a classic vintage staple piece, but this one is like a pretty midi length as well. The thing I love about this one is it has the little corseting in the back so you can cinch it in at the waist to whatever your measurements are. And I love dresses like that. And yeah, I think it's always super flattering when you can cinch in the waist to whatever. And if you wanna wear it loose or if you wanna wear it tight, whatever you wanna do. Okay, I kinda lied before because I forgot about this. So everything that I got for my shop is available now except for sweaters but they will be available soon and the reason is every year every year i mean i did this last year and i'm going to do it this year again and i'm doing a big sweater drop in my etsy shop basically i collect a bunch of sweaters during the summer and then at the very beginning of fall or the first week of september i drop them all at once so that i don't know there's just like a big sweater drop i consider just listing them since i found them in this video and i know it's super confusing and dumb but i just want to wait till my sweater drop on friday because i just want to i don't know drop them all at once i think that's fun so these are two sweaters not available now but they'll be available friday so first one is this 80s Washington DC sweatshirt. I think it's so cool. It's super soft still um, and it's just got that vintage sweatshirt cut. So there's that one and then of course, okay, this might actually be the best thing that I found which was this sweatshirt with the most beautiful floral print. Can we even? I I find this brand and these kinds of sweaters from time to, sweatshirts from time to time but never in this good of condition and of course it's got the little cutesy collar. Next is another thing that I got for myself and it's this Ralph Lauren. I think it's supposed to be a robe. I really do. Yeah, just like a cowboy print. I don't know. Um, and I love it so much. So I'm going to be wearing this layered over things. Like I just wear it kind of as a cardigan. Um, they're not super like warm or anything, but they're an awesome layering piece, especially for like fall and spring when you want like a lot of layers, but you don't necessarily need it to be super warm. So that's what I'm going to wear this as. It's a robe technically, but it's my kimono now. Next, of course, we have this little cottage core two-piece set. Take a shot of water every time I say cottage core. Just because summer's coming to an end doesn't mean we don't need to stay hydrated. So you're welcome in advance. This is like a little cottage core set. At first I was like, oh yeah, this is totally like spring summer because it's like a midi length skirt and then this kind of like tank top vest. But I actually, when I did like the try on photo, styled it up with a turtleneck. So you could definitely transition this into fall and winter or if you live in a warm place like California or Arizona, you could probably wear this year round. I mean, what do I know? It's a size 18, so a good plus size. I don't know, I just love it. I think it's such a cute set. Next, we have a bunch of denim dresses. This was like 
the day of denim, I guess. This is the sleeveless one. Um, it has pockets. This, this, like I said earlier, would be perfect for fall because this, again, is one that you can layer a turtleneck under or even a sweater. Um, I don't know. Is denim technically cottagecore? The cut of these dresses is very cottagecore, especially because it has these pockets, um, like the front pockets where you can put like eggs or like flowers or whatever you're collecting for your cottage. And then this one, which is like pretty much the same style except for it's long sleeve and has a collar so this one buttons all the way up to the tippy top has a collar long sleeve but it still has the front pockets i guess this one's a little bit darker of a wash like i could picture this with some combat boots i'm doing a horrible job of showing it but you'll see it in the picture here and then last denim dress i believe is this one this one is super cottagecore sorry i'm saying cottagecore a million times but so it's denim on the top but then it has this pretty yellow skirt on the bottom um the skirt is a little bit sheer so you might want to wear a slip with it if you buy this for yourself but yeah this is also like a cute one i could again see this with combat boots next is a t-shirt i got for my nephew i think i find a dinosaur t-shirt for my nephew like every single time i go to the goodwill outlet but i can't say no because he loves dinosaurs so this is a jurassic park little t-shirt and it just says in case of emergency run for your life Next, we got a bunch of cute dresses. This one I absolutely love. At first when I got it, I guess I just didn't get a good enough look at it. And I was like, oh yeah, that's cute. Like that'll be cute for Etsy. But then when I got it home and like tried it on for the photos, I was like, this is so cute. So I don't know technically the style you would call it, um, but it has a big bow at the top um, and it buttons up the front, but it also has a cinch in at the waist. So it it's almost like a house dress, but fancier. Cause that's what I thought it was at first. So it's like a simple lightweight dress but it's also can be very flattering it can give you a little bit of shape because it ha does have the ties at the waist um and the pretty bow at the top i don't know the more i think about it i'm like oh i really should keep this but i already photographed it and have too many dresses so i'm not going to keep it but i love the colors it's a pretty periwinkle color and then it's got a flower print but the best part about it is that the brand name is called wearables like they just set the bar so low like they're not even going to say like cute fashions or like style and whatever they're just like wearable like it's wearable it's not cute but it's wearable another vintage dress like I said this was totally the day for the vintage dresses this one's probably my favorite dress that we found this pastel floral 80s dress I think the colors on it are so pretty this one actually came with the matching belt as well this is actually what I found I was like digging through the bin and I found this belt and I know these belts usually go to really cute dresses so I like yanked it by the belt and it was still like attached to the loop and that's how I found it so yeah I'm very happy about that I don't know this one is also pretty sheer uh why do they do that? I don't know, but you definitely have to wear a slip under this one if you wanted to. Like, if you just want everything to be shown, that's fine too. But if you wanted it to be, like, a regular dress, you definitely have to wear a slip because this is, like, 100% see-through, but very cute. Okay, next is actually a shirt that my husband found, and I was really proud of him because it's actually super, super cute. I always find some really cute stuff. So, this is a, like, lightweight top, and I usually don't pick up too many tops just because that's, like, not really my favorite, but this one was so cute. I had to get it. It's I'm gonna say cottagecore. It's a garden themed top. Let's call it that. It's a garden themed top. Um, it's like a pretty navy blue and it's just got all these garden prints all over it. So it has a bunch of flowers and it has watering cans and like little seed packets. It is so cute. Like if you're a gardener, you need this. I think it's so fun. Another super cool t-shirt I found was this 1994 rhino rhinoceros t-shirt. I think it's so fun. I'm not like the biggest rhino lover. Actually, there are pretty cute in person now that I think about it. But I think we all kind of love these vintage 90s animal t-shirts, whether it's a wolf, a cat, horses. They're just classic. And I think the rhino one is like super cool and unique. So yeah, you can never go wrong with a vintage tee, especially like a vintage animal tee. It's an extra large. This one is in my shop as well. So many things in today. I'm sorry, today's video is probably like a million years long and there's just so much for my Etsy shop. But I really needed to do a restock because I usually have about 70 to 100 items. And I think right now I have like 40 or 50s. Okay, I totally lied. There were two more sweatshirts that I ended up getting. These will also be part of the Friday sweater fall drop. This one is that kind of cottagecore one. It's like an off-white kind of cream color and then it has the floral patches or patchwork style on the front. These are all so cute. It's just a bunch of different patchwork fabrics and some 
floral and naturey embroidery. And then last for the sweatshirts, um, this one will be dropping Friday as well. The vintage San Francisco one. It's got the half zip and then the ties at the front. I don't know. This is just like very cool, like casual 90s. Next, I got this 80s Western top. Again, I stay away from tops, but you know, you got to make an exception for a Western top. It's very Wrangler-esque. It's from a vintage brand called Roper, so definitely the Western theme. And yeah, I just love these, I don't know, just Western cool, colorful prints. This one is actually, I didn't even realize this, but this is like a very fall color scheme and sadly too small for me. Again, I never really find like the Western cowboy wear in my size unfortunately. All right. And then last but not least are two dresses or at least what I thought were dresses. So the first one was this nautical eighties piece that I thought for sure was a dress, but it's actually a jumpsuit. Is there any better feeling in the world than finding out a dress at the thrift store is actually a jumpsuit? This one is actually a romper. It's pretty cool. It's definitely like that kind of sailor style. Um, it's got this patch on the chest and then some kind of nautical gold buttons. Um, super cute, stretchy red belt um, that goes across. <laughs> Again, doing a horrible job of showing this, but you'll see this in the picture. I love this so much. It's rare that I come across any jumpsuits, but especially vintage jumpsuits. So this one's available now. It's like a size medium. And then last but not least is this teal-ish kind of dress turquoise that ended up being so much cuter than I originally thought. Like when I got it, I was like, oh, this is like cute. It's like just a simple little teal 80s dress. But no, this one is actually another hidden gem. So first of all, it's got the most amazing full circle skirt, like the kind that you can totally spin in and it will just like spin out. And But the best part, which I think is really unique, is it buttons all the way up. Not like a turtleneck, but it's a very high neck. I say it, go, it goes up to here. So it's like the perfect dress for winter and fall, super warm. It's honestly just the most flattering cut, the most flattering fit. So this was the last piece in today's haul. We made it to the end. This one is available in my Etsy shop as well. Super cute. If it had fit me better, I probably would have kept it, um, but it was like, a little bit too small, didn't quite button right. So if you live in a, a cold state, I would definitely recommend this as a dress to wear in fall and winter because it's gonna be amazing. It's nice and thick. All right, peeps, that's it. That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in any of the sweaters, make sure you're following me over on Instagram. That's where I'm gonna be posting all the sneak peeks and updates on my sweater drop, which will be this Friday, September, like third or fourth. I can't remember which day Friday is, but at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Also follow me on Instagram if you wanna see how I style up any of these pieces. I post on Instagram like four or five times a week. Yeah, just make sure you follow me over there. That will be linked in the description box as well, along with my Etsy shop. Other than that, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a good one. Bye.